My name is Kenji Suzuki. I have been studying artificial intelligence AI in medical imaging for 25 years. In 1997, I invented a new neural network model that can learn images directly, which is an early model of something called deep learning now. When I presented medical AI research at the international conference in 2001, I was invited to join the world number one laboratory in the computer-aided diagnosis field at the University of Chicago in the US. We developed novel image processing technologies that had not existed at the time that made the less visible lesion visible. People call it revolutionary in the medical imaging field. As a result, I received 20 international awards, including several best paper awards from reputable journals and lifetime achievement award for medical AI. My love's motto are, be the first and the only one, make the impossible possible, and pioneer essential research areas. In the past, my lab developed a number of essential AI technologies quite early. For example, we developed a technology for removing bone components from chest X-ray images by using our original deep learning model called the Massive Training Artificial Neural Network or MTAN. At that time, people did not believe that it would be possible. Our technology makes less visible lesion visible. This technology was licensed to a company in the US and the FDA approved their medical AI product in 2010, which was the first FDA approved product of deep learning. This product is now used in many hospitals around the world. And also, our original Ampton Deep Learning contributed to substantial improvement in the performance of AI-aided diagnosis and facilitated its implementations in clinics. Moreover, radiation for medical imaging devices such as CT becomes a serious issue worldwide. We succeeded in developing a technology that can reduce CT radiation exposure by 97% which is by far the highest performance to date, and commercialize it with a company in the US through FDA approval. Implementation of this technology will bring us the safest X-ray exam so that we don't have to concern about medical radiation anymore. Finally, serious bottleneck of the current medical AI is that the model requires 10,000 to 100,000 cases to train. Collecting such large number of patient cases takes several to a dozen years. To address this serious issue, we developed a novel deep learning model and succeeded in reducing the required number of training cases to only 100. Now we are leading multiple national research projects supported by funding agency NATO and JST to develop new AI paradigm, explainable and engineerable AI with small data AI, and aim to lead the world medical AI research here at the Tokyo Tech. Thank you.